Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Brzezinski. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Osisco Mining. Osisco Mining's principal project, the Windfall Gold Deposit, is located in northern Quebec, Canada, not very far from the last mine we put into production back in 2011, the Canadian Malarctic Mine. Canadian Malarctic is currently the, the world's 10th largest gold mine. It's the, the single largest gold producer in Canada at over 700,000 ounces per year. From the first drill hole to the first gold bar, it took six years uh, and a couple months uh, to, to build and, and put that mine into production. We were forced to sell that mine back in 2014, uh, at which point we started Osisco Gold Royalties, which trades on the NYSE. Uh, but very quickly after that, we reformed Osisco Mining, kept the main technical people, and went out looking for a new deposit. Windfall, very much like Canadian Malarctic, is turning into another world-class gold deposit in Quebec. Uh, with the drilling that we've done so far, we've outlined over 6 million ounces of gold uh, with an average grade of over 8 grams per ton. The high bar for world-class deposit these days is something over 5 million uh, with a, a grade, average grade of over 8 grams. By the time we finish our infill drill program this fall, we expect to have windfall up around the 7 million ounce mark. Uh, it remains wide open to depth. Uh, I suspect over time that this will grow into a multi, multi-million ounce deposit, well over 10 million ounces. Uh, we expect the grade to be up around 9 or 10 grams per ton uh, by the time we complete the feasibility work. And what we're looking at is a mine that should produce somewhere in the neighborhood of 300,000 ounces a year plus uh, over at least a 10-year mine life. But because of the size of the deposit, I would expect that this mine goes on to be a multi-decade producer, much like many of the current and classic high-grade mines found in Quebec and Ontario and Canada. We have uh, done quite a bit of technical work to date. We've also uh, developed over eight kilometers of underground working while we've been doing the drilling. We've taken two bulk samples, which have both come back with positive reconciliation. The first one, 25%, the second one, about 90% higher grade than we anticipated. Both good confirmation for what we know is a very high grade deposit. Uh, back when we started the company in 2015, restarted Osisco Mining 2. We looked at everything that was out there. We evaluated about 4,000 different projects. And we only saw about eight things that we thought we thought we might be able to acquire and put into production within five years. Windfall is certainly turning into that asset. Uh, it's grown to world class in scale. Uh, the grade keeps improving. Uh, and all things being equal, uh, we should be able to get this project into production by 2024. It's our current schedule. Uh, the, the final catalysts that we have uh, remaining in hand are completing the drill program, which we, we should comfortably do by this September. Uh, the deposit the uh, final resource by Christmas time. The feasibility will be out early in the new year. From there, we go to permitting in Quebec. When we permitted the Canadian Malarctic mine, it took us 11 months from bumper to bumper, uh, including public hearings. Uh, we're in an area that doesn't have a lot of population, so we suspect it might even go faster than that. Uh, once we have the permits, it's about a 12-month construction cycle to build the mine. Uh, we're looking at a capital expenditure to build of about $500 million. Uh, which we will probably do with a combination of uh, typical mine finance, uh, debt, and some equity. Uh, we currently have a bank account of about $300 million of cash and, and equity positions. Uh, so we're, we're very comfortably financed at this point, right up to mine finance uh, at the feasibility study level. Windfall sits on a property uh, that includes over 2,700 square kilometers of ground. Uh, we were basically the first company to come up and do this volume of work uh, in this belt. Uh, no one's ever really done a, a thorough exploration of this district before. But the district itself is the same age and of the same quality for uh, potential for finding gold deposits as the historic Baldor and Timmins camps in Quebec and Ontario. Both of those camps produced over 70 million ounces over the last 100 years from dozens of mines. And we expect that the Urban Berry uh, Windfall Camp is no different. Uh, that once we get this mine up and running, that there's very strong potential that we're going to find additional deposits up and down the belt. So the value proposition for where we are today, uh, we trade at about $3.25 Canadian, depending on the day. Uh, our market capitalization is uh, $1.2 billion Canadian, uh, which is about typical for a project at our stage, but we're still creating value by doing the infill drilling. And when we get to that final resource, uh, really, what we're looking at is something that's very rare, is very high grade, and it's, it's a world class deposit, and there just aren't that many around these days. Pretty much most of the senior producers and intermediate producers around the world are, are running through their reserves and are looking for new deposits to develop and, and bring into their fold so they can maintain their share prices and their production levels. 
Over the last 20, 30 years, hardly anybody's been doing the level of exploration that we as a group have been doing. When we drilled at Canadian Malarctic, we drilled over a million meters on that project. We drilled about another million meters on other projects that we had in the company at the time. So while a lot of people were surprised by the scale of the program we undertook at Windfall, it was no different from what we've done over the last 20 years. And, and really, you have to do a lot of drilling to develop a deposit like this. So we're getting very close to the end of that stage. Uh, every time we, we drill more into it, we're, we're still expanding the deposit, even though we're doing infill, it's growing while we, we finish off the technical drilling. Uh, and that final resource that comes out this Christmas will put a dollar value on the deposit that will reflect in the feasibility that comes out next year, really making this one of the very few projects that is a near-term producer in a geopolitically safe jurisdiction like Canada. It's our second world-class deposit that we'll have put into production in, two, in uh, the last uh, 10 years. Uh, very few groups can say that. Uh, very few groups can say that they've done one, and I don't think it's the last one. Again, this is a very large property. Uh, once we finish drilling out windfall and get that through permitting and under construction, we'll be hired on the hunt to find the second deposit and grow value in the company.